So today for Keyser was us launching robotic surgery, which will now give us the ability to do cases that we were unable to do here, that we had had an ability to do down at Merritt Health downtown. We can now do them at our own base. I had a great deal of robotics experience in my fellowship before coming to Keesler, and up to this point we've been taking all the robotics cases to Merritt Health Biloxi under what's called an URSA agreement. Uh, but we saw that as more product lines at Keesler were u utilizing robotics, uh, we, we felt the need was here for us to go through the acquisitions process. And uh, I kind of led the charge on that with, with help from numerous individuals, Major Talmer, uh, Lieutenant Hoskins, and, and some of the other robotic surgeons in the facility. Uh, the abilities of the robot, the, the visualization is better. Uh, you can do more with your wrists. You can create unique angles with the wrists, whereas laparoscopic instruments are traditionally rigid instruments. So we can do more with our hands. We can see better. And that lets us limit the incision, which lets patients recover faster with less pain. So I think this is a tremendous opportunity for all the patients uh, here at Keesler, including the VA patients that we take care of here as well. Start taking that over towards the liver. See that, that cut edge of the right here? You can take a little bit of that. I think your artery is going to be underneath there. We are the first uh, Air Force hospital to, to go through that acquisitions process and the first to acquire the robotic technology. And as we see trends in the private sector, uh, the utilization of this technology is increasing across many different specialties and uh, we can do so much more with small incisions and that really is driven by patient outcomes and that's our goal. I was told that um, this didn't seem like a first surgery, that it was really smooth in comparison to most facilities when they do their first robotics case. Usually it's um, a rough steep learning curve and here it was very smooth and it seemed like we had been doing it for a long period of time. So many times in a, in a Da Vinci program the nurses and techs kind of learn on the job but here at least we have training before we go in. It makes us much more efficient with the communication, the language we use. I think that helped us with today. I mean get through it, get through it quick. So it was perfect for us. Yeah.